Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Screaming Sicilian Pizza Company. This is the uh, Mambo Italiano. It is meatballs and pepperoni, uh, tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni made with pork, chicken, and beef. Um, there's a picture of what the pizza looks like. I'm single. I like that. That's funny. Um, these were uh, at Walmart for $2.98, which isn't bad for a pizza. It's, it's not bad at all. You can do it in the oven and the microwave. I'm sure it's a thousand times better in the oven, but we don't do the oven on here. We only do microwave, so you know how it is. 690 calories for the whole pizza. And there's your other information. Wow, one, one pizza is 80% of your sodium. That's probably the highest I've ever had. I mean, 80% of your sodium in one pizza, that's pretty high. Um, okay, so how do you do this? You can either do in the oven, like I said, 400 degrees for 16 to 18 minutes, but we're going to do the microwave. So take the wrapper off the pizza, uh, put take the pizza out of the tray and flip the tray over and put the pizza on top of the gray side. Uh, microwave for four to five minutes. I'm going to go towards the low end. Pizzas I've found, the microwave pizzas, I've also always found out if you go towards the middle of the high end, it's always dried out and, and uh, cooks too long. So I'm going to go to four, and if I need any additional time, I'll go add another you know 30 seconds to it after that. Then I leave the tray in for a minute to let the pedestal cool and then remove it, slice it, and eat it. So, and this has a little mustache you can pop out too if you want to wear it while you're eating your pizza. Might be a little hard, but you never know. Okay, so where do these open at? There's a pull tab. It's nice. Quite a bit of stuff on there. I'll have to rearrange some of the pepperoni that's kind of moved, so I'll, I'll spread it out a little bit better. But you basically take it out of the plastic, flip it over to where this gray side is up, put your pizza on top of that, and microwave it. So, uh, so anyway, I'm going to get this plastic out here, separate out the stuff a little bit better, and uh, I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave, and I, I put it on a paper plate just so I can carry it over here. But I want to show you, the cheese did run off the edge a little bit. There and there and there but it didn't stick to the microwave so that's a good thing and there is some grease on the top i might get a, a napkin and just dab it just so we get some of that really uh, loose grease there's tons and tons and tons of steam in the microwave so uh, when you get that microwave in this you either gotta leave your door open let it dry or you're gonna have to take a paper towel and dry it out because there was a lot of moisture um, all over on the door on the bottom on the sides it was everywhere it was actually a little wet on the the little tray here at the bottom so anyway i'm gonna get a napkin and wipe that up i'm gonna take this off this little tray and put it on this plate and uh, i'll be back all right it's that time to cool off so here's the bite i'm gonna take um actually i'm not gonna take a bite of that one i'll take a bite of this one here's what i'm gonna take um i cut it with a knife um i cut it i have a metal knife guido decides to come in uh, i had a metal knife and i kind of put it in there and like really worked at it um, if you got a plastic knife, you could probably cut it, but just know that you'll have to like saw it a little bit more. Um, and may break if you're really pushing on it. So, um, so it's cuttable, definitely. Um, it looks pretty good. It's good and crispy on the bottom. Hmm. Just now I got a flavor, the pepperoni. Really, really good. Um, let me take a bite of the sausage or pepperoni. I really like those flavors. The, the sausage has a really good Italian sausage flavor. The pepperoni has just a little bit of a, a spice to it, which I like. I like a little bit of a spicy pepperoni. Um, the sauce is good. It's not super sweet, which is good. It's a good savory sauce, but you can definitely get the tomato flavor out of it. And the crust is pretty good. It's more like a hand-tossed crust that's um, it's a little crispy on the bottom. It's not like a thin crust, and it's not like a big, you know, big all-breading crust. So, um, well, you can see how thick it is. That's how thick the crust is. And there's quite a bit of toppings on there too. I mean, you know, for a frozen pizza, it's pretty, it's pretty good amount of topping. Um, I have to admit, Screaming Sicilian is one of my favorite regular pizzas, like big pizzas. And um, so this tastes just like one of those. Now, is the crust a little different? Yes, the crust is a little different. It's a little, um, I won't say harder, it's firmer than uh, the ones you bake in the oven. And, th and if you bake this in the oven, it may soften up a little bit. But, uh, but just know it is a little bit firmer. But for a microwave pizza, it's excellent. It's probably one of the best microwave pizzas I've had. Um, some of the other microwave pizzas are really either really, really thin and kind of like a cracker-like. And some of them, 
they get so dried out they're really really bad uh, this was four minutes and it cooked it perfectly so I'm gonna give this one I'm gonna give this one a five I would definitely buy this one again I would eat these regularly because that's how good they are so I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching